everyone, welcome back to Measure and Mix. Today is the thrift store makeover challenge which I am co-hosting with my friend Heidi Sambol. We asked you guys a couple weeks ago to make a video of your thrift store makeover. If you participated in this challenge and have a video today, make sure to add that video to the playlist which is linked down below in the description box. Now we also asked our subscribers if they wanted to participate in this challenge to email us their before and after photos of their thrift store makeover. So if you're a subscriber and did that, make sure you guys watch to the end of the video so that way you can see their makeovers as well. Thank you guys so much for participating in this challenge with us. I'm so excited to share with you guys what I did, but I'm also excited to watch everybody's thrift store makeover. So let's get on and start the video. So I chose to make over this window and I got it from the Habitat for Humanity store for only $10 and I saw on Pinterest where they were taking these old windows and turning them into coffee tables. So I thought I would try to give that a shot with this window. I really wanted windows with panes in them but I couldn't find one that was wood at that Habitat for Humanity store so I thought this one would work perfect though. I love how it looks. It was really dirty so the first thing that I did was take some bleach spray and just wipe all of the outer edges off and then I took some glass cleaner and cleaned the glass really well. Next I used my white linen chalk paint by Rust-Oleum and painted the window frame. I painted the front side with two coats and then the back side of course that took about three coats to cover up all of that brown paint. So as you can see, I didn't end up using painter's tape to tape off the glass because I couldn't find it, um, but that was okay because after the paint was all dry on the frame, I just went back and took some of the glass cleaner and a paper towel and just wiped the edges on the glass and the paint came right off. Okay, now that the window is all prepped, I need to build a box for the window to sit on top of. So I ended up using two one inch by six inch by eight foot boards and I cut them into four pieces and the size of those pieces are going to depend on the size of your window frame. But I ended up taking the long piece and then one of the shorter pieces and I showed you here how I uh, put them together and then I just took my nail gun and nailed those edges in. Once I got the two small pieces done I just came back and did the other long piece and I made a rectangle. Next I took a 2x4 and cut two pieces from it that were the width of my box. Then I just went ahead and nailed those 2x4s into the outer edges of my box making sure that the bottom of the 2x4 was flush with the bottom of the box. And I just used my nail gun for this but you could use screws and a drill or a hammer and nails whatever you feel comfortable with but I love my nail gun it's really saved me a lot of time with wood working projects so it's come in handy. Next I took two one inch by four inch by eight foot boards and I cut six pieces out that were the length of my box and then I just used my nail gun again and nailed those six pieces in on each side to those two by fours. Now I'm just going to take my sander and I am just going to give this a really good sanding making sure I get all of those raw edges from where I cut the wood off and just kind of rounding the corners of the box. Next I got these leg plates from Amazon and these are what my legs of my table are going to screw into and I just took them and screwed them into all four corners of the bottom side of my rectangle. I also purchased some legs from Amazon. They are nine inch wooden legs and as you can see they have the screw at the top of them so I just screwed them in to the plate. You just want to make sure that your plate that you get and your screw on your leg are the same size so they screw in easily. And that was it for the box. Now all I needed to do was paint it so I took that same white linen chalk paint and I gave this a couple coats of paint. 
After the paint was all dry, I have these hinges that I just got from the hardware store. There is two in a pack and I'm just going to use three of them and they are two and a half inch hinges and I just screwed them to the top of one of the sides of the table. Then I'm going to take my window and I propped it up on a storage box to help me out and I'm going to take the other side of the hinge and I'm just going to screw that side in to the bottom of of the window and then that is all there is to it I absolutely love how this window turned out I can't believe the top of it was once just an old dirty window I hope you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and if you're new here and like home decor and DIYs I'd love to have you hit that subscribe button and don't forget to ring the bell so you get notified when I upload a new video now stick around to see what our subscribers have thrifted and made over and I will see you guys next time take care bye bye